Okay, this tutorial will cover uh, dependency relationship between two classes. So previous we had uh, uh, association between student and class. So this case was a, a binary relationship between two classes. So dependency relationship here we are looking at relationship between two classes where one you one class use the other class so the other class we say supplier class one we use we call it as a client class So um, again, let me leave some space on my right hand side so that I can use a course class. Then I'm going to introduce a new class called instructor. So idea is um, we will have an instructor class here. Instructors may teach one to um, three classes per semester. We assume that if the course is open, Instructor may be able to teach one, two, three courses per semester. If there is no courses to to teach, then of course instructor won't be able to teach anything. So here we are looking at um, instructor class depends on course class. This is what we call as a uh, dependency relationship between instructor and course. So we are using a weak relationship, it's so a dashed line between instructor and course. We also use an arrow at the end. So let me just say uh, teach. Instructor teaches, uh, let's say, one, two, three courses per semester. Course has instructor. We will say that I uh, must have at least one or one instructor mandatory. Okay, I will uh, omit uh, instructor name or instructor ID. So we are looking at uh, uh, dependency relationship between instructor and course. So instructor teaches one, two, three courses. Depends on the courses uh, open for students. Okay. So let's create one new project. Let me bring it back. Okay. Straightforward, we are looking at dependency relationships. And uh, we are looking at here instructor teaches one, two, three courses. Okay. So we are looking at the diagram with the uh, underline in uh, red color. So let me start with uh, creating one new class called instructor. We need a course class because instructor class is depends on course. I will just introduce one property here called course name. So private string uh, course name equal to unknown. Let me create the getters and setters. And then two string methods so that we can print uh, what's inside the course object. Up to this point is a straightforward, okay? Just normal um, class design. Okay, let's go back to instructor class. Now he we says that uh, private. We have a course of uh, up to three, so we will use array. 
here up to three courses pro instructor so here private uh, we says that uh, number of courses so that we can print uh, how many courses um, taught by one instructor or each instructor okay comments uh, number of courses taught by instructor okay setters and getters um, course so uh, this set courses actually is adding courses so let me say add courses to instructors so let me change here um, it should be course again single object we are adding uh, one course at a time so this should be SE then we are adding to uh, courses object um, yeah, there's a course sorry that was uh, supposed to be courses with S okay so we are adding single uh, single course to courses array then uh, next time when we add it we add it to next space in uh, array so we say uh, number of courses plus plus we will print um, just course information to string seems okay now okay the course okay save it here so let me create um, instructor object uh, for this demonstration I will construct two courses so for example we can say that set courses then say java so we need a java object let me construct one more object uh, c so we add two objects okay in order So I'm adding second object, course object to same instructor. Okay, if you say instructor to string, it won't give you um, course name. It will give you object name belongs to um, the particular instructor. Wait and see, okay. So here say Java language 48 project name and the course object and then there is a unique ID for the course object. So let's move to instructor class and then say uh, print courses taught by uh, instructors so we can actually see what kind of courses are taught by instructor rather than a course name or based on to string so I will say uh, public void print courses 
this is array, so we need to use a for loop or loop conditions. I plus plus. Simply, we just print uh, courses depends on I. Okay, so we go back here. We try again. Here, this time, say uh, instructor dot print uh, courses. Okay, it will print uh, a default value. Again, uh, I need to add course name. Okay, so let me go back here. We have a set uh, course name. Let's say um, introduction to Java. Here, C, course name, let's say uh, programming C. Pretty much the uh, same. Let's try again. Now you can see um, two courses and there is a null. So if you go back to instructor, we can teach up these three subjects. So let's make a minor change to uh, print courses. So inside the for loop, if the course has a default value, which is a course this depends on index value i, we can print. Otherwise, we should not print. So let's say one if conditions. Courses i means reporting to course object is not equal to null value. Uh, that means course um, object reference variable has a reference to object. Then it will print. Okay, the last one did not print because the course object has a null value. It does not point to any object. So what we did was um, we just looking at the dependency. So if you look at line number 21 to 24, that's how we implement dependency relationship between two classes. So let me uh, add some uh, explanations. So if you look at here, course, and then instructor, two classes. And then instructor, um, it depends on course. So we are looking at set courses method here. So maybe I'll put it here, say adding courses to instructor. It depends on uh, courses or a courses object, or you can say course class. If there is no course or a course objects, then the instructor has nothing to teach. It means that our instructor object has uh, no access to course object. Okay, I hope that's uh, Good enough about the dependency. I will say open courses. Seems okay. Okay, that's all. Thank you.